Hi everyone, welcome to Animal Educate. My name's Abby. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and help me grow it. Today we are going to be looking at the immortal jellyfish. The Pteratoptis dornii, known as the immortal jellyfish, is becoming known as the Benjamin Button of the ocean. That's because it can age backwards. Amazing, right? It's captivated scientists since it was discovered decades ago. And like many marine species, it was discovered by accident. The immortal jellyfish propagate, and then in the face of death, they can revert back to a sexually immature stage. So it can skip several life stages in the cycle, and then it can revert back to an earlier stage of development at which point it begins the life cycle again. Consider a butterfly. Instead of dying, it reverts back into a caterpillar. The immortal jellyfish was discovered in the Mediterranean Sea in 1883, but its unique ability wasn't discovered until the 1990s. They prefer warmer waters, but they have been spotted in colder waters as well. So this amazing creature is proving to be able to survive in cold and warm temperatures, so it's making its way across the globe. Their diet consists of plankton, fish, eggs, and small mollusks. The younger jellyfish only have eight tentacles, and they're about one millimeters tall, while the adult jellyfish can have up to 90 tentacles, and they can reach a maximum of about 4.5 millimeters, which is about as wide as a human pinky. When starvation, physical damage, or other crises arise, they transform all of their existing cells into a younger state to avoid certain death. Their tentacles retract, their bodies shrink, and they sink to the ocean floor and start that cycle all over again. It turns itself into a blob-like cyst, which then develops into a polyp colony. And in this process, the cells are transformed. Through asexual reproduction, the polyp colony can spawn hundreds of genetically identical jellyfish, near perfect copies of the original adult. Some cells of this jellyfish that are supposed to die are able to switch off some genes and switch on others. This reactivates genetic programs that were used in earlier stages of the life cycle. They can do this over and over and over again, but most of the time, they do die normally. Genetically, hydra are the same as human beings with variations of the same theme. So we aren't dealing with something that's completely different to us. So what do you think? Do you think humans can evolve to become immortal like this jellyfish? Or is this ecological nonsense? Let me know. Thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. As usual, hit that like button if you've enjoyed and comment below if you have any questions. Until next time.